and welcome to the Rehab Robotics Lab. This lab is a collaborative workspace that was created as a place where people from all disciplines could work together to find solutions to big problems. Our goal is to advance the field of rehab science through the development of use of new technologies, and this innovation helps to improve quality of life for people with disabilities or injuries at all stages of life. We're also trying to figure out better ways for people to learn through interaction and simulation. Of course, under the current circumstances, there's not much going on in the lab. All of our lab members have been working from home since mid-March. However, I still wanted to take you through the lab to give you a glimpse of the kind of things we do. We have three cores, wheelchair and biomechanics, virtual reality, and tele-rehabilitation. Why don't we go check out the space and I'll tell you more. Let's start with wheelchair and biomechanics. Here we have the Eon Cube a central point for the wheelchair research in our lab. It has several projectors and rollers built in so we can simulate different 3D environments. Wheelchair users can enter the space and move around just like they would in the real world. And through this, we can study different aspects of how wheelchair users move around, including propulsion and maneuverability. We study the video and other measurements of this information to better understand the biomechanics of wheelchair users and how we can better prevent repetitive strain injuries, particularly in the shoulders. We can also take some of these measurements outside of the cube using our state-of-the-art motion capture system. We have 26 cameras in the ceiling, and that enables us to capture the movement of the human body. Even something as complex as nuanced as dancing can be captured and then recreated virtually to enable further analysis. We use this in our wheelchair research, but also in creating our virtual reality simulations. In our lab, we have a virtual reality research and development initiative, Cognitive Projections. We are always excited to talk about the work we're doing in this area. Our main focus is how we can improve learning through the use of virtual reality simulations. Using VR headsets, we can create experiences that we have previously only imagined. And there are a number of novel VR simulations from Cognitive Projections that students at the University of Alberta can currently access, including the Dental Anesthesia Simulator, which lets dental students interact with a virtual patient and pr practice injecting anesthesia. We have the Craniofacial Anatomy, which lets students examine key anatomical structures of the head and neck. And we have the OSCE Simulator, which lets occupational therapy students practice their clinical skills with a virtual patient before taking the exam. You can go to cogpro.ca to learn more. Finally, we combine this research into our Tele-Rehab 2.0 project, which aims to increase access to rehab services to rural and remote Albertans. Through process and technological innovation, we can now deliver remote assessments and treatments for four rehab focus areas hip and knee replacement follow-up, wheelchair seating, vestibular imbalance issues, and severe shoulder pain. We use several technologies to enable these assessments, including markerless motion capture, novel force sensors, and a double telepresence robots. These technologies enable our clinicians to feel like they're in the same pa room with a patient, even if they're hundreds of kilometers away. And community trials are now happening in Peace River, Grand Prairie, and Jasper. You can go to Tele-Rehab's collaboration portal to learn more. Thank you for coming on this virtual tour. I hope we were able to welcome you into the lab one day soon for one of our events or tours. Until then, we hope you stay safe and healthy at home.